Hello guys, welcome to or back to my channel. My name is Aubrey if you're new here. Thank you so much for clicking on. I don't know when the last time I filmed or if I even filmed at all. But I wanted to start a new vlog here. I just got some groceries and I'm finally out of my quarantine. If you didn't know, I have been in a two week quarantine because your girl had COVID. <laughs> And it was not fun but two weeks have gone by i got the clear and i finally was able to leave my apartment for the first time today so i took my dog brooks for a really long walk and it was really nice got some fresh air well new york city fresh air so like pollution <laughs> i don't know but it was still nice and i just got my groceries delivered from whole foods so i'm gonna do a little grocery haul I still haven't eaten yet and it is three. Ooh, that's sepia kitchen color. Okay, here are the groceries. So I got bananas, apple. I love green apple, but I want to try the Poosh apple tea recipe. So I got a red apple to make that, but I love green apples. Comment down below if you're a green or a red apple fan because I stand for green. We got some potatoes and then some onions, some garlic in there. Got this big extra virgin olive oil, some avocado chunks for my smoothies, frozen. These are delicious, the late July tortilla chips. And then we got some peppers, orange is the best, parmesan cheese, cucumber, tomato, tomato paste. I didn't know, but they made these tomato pastes in like jars. And such a good call because I never can use the full can and I always have to like throw it away. So very happy about that. We got some lemonade, which we never get, but we were feeling it. Oh, Whole Foods has bread alone bakery bread, which is so good. If you know, you know. And we got this peasant bread. I don't even know what that means, but look at that. It looks delicious. Got some baby spinach. Some little mozzarella snacking cheese. I've been such a big fan of them. They're like little snacking cheese balls. <laughs> Instead of like the big hunk of mozzarella, this is so much easier to use. I got some oat milk because my Oatly oat milk isn't coming until Friday and I literally can't go one day without making my coffee with this oat milk. So I got this one. This one's my second favorite, Califia Farms. Got some penne. This is mint. Some chicken breasts for Brooks and for lunch and stuff, and then some ground turkey. Oh, and then I was really wanting like some type of fruit snack, so I got Annie's Organics Bunny Fruit Snacks. Oh wait, where's my yogurt? They must have not had my Coco Yo. I also got Coco Yo, but they must have not had it and like left it out because it's not here. I'm gonna put these away and then I'm gonna make some lunch. Also. This is an unpopular opinion, but I love bananas when they're like green and like just barely yellow. I hate when they get like super sweet unless I'm making banana bread or something. But to eat, I love a green banana. I know that's unpopular, but that's how I feel. I said what I said. Okay, you need bread, tomatoes. This is basil pesto. This is from the 365 brand or whatever, but just any pesto would work. I have like phases with pesto. I either like love it and go hard for it or I'm just really not feeling it at all. So I don't think I've had pesto for like a year and now I want it every day. Let me show you. Bread. I can't pick this up with my nails. Oh, cut it. Cut up some of these tomatoes. So how cute is this sweatshirt from Fabletics? I'm like loving it. These little snacking cheese. These are like perfect little balls. Cut these into like little slivers. Okay. Now we get the pesto. Pesto on the bread. Darn, I wanted to make this pretty, but I got it on the plate. Extra. Tomato and the mozzarella. We like a nice thick hearty toast. And now the best part, I almost forgot you need this glaze. This is from Trader Joe's. It's incredible. It's like a balsamic thick glaze. Oh, it's amazing. Yum. Literally delicious. I have 
Topo Chico. The twist with lime has been my favorite. This is my lunch. Cheers. How cute. I got these smudge sticks from Home Goods. I'm gonna put them in this little bowl. think I explained but for dinner I made these tuna burgers which is actually one of Sarah Day's Sarah's Day I always think her name is Sarah Day but it's Sarah's Day she's like my favorite youtuber and it was one of her recipes from like a while ago because all I do is rewatch her videos and it was so good I'm like definitely gonna be making that for lunches and stuff now and it was super easy and like very minimal ingredients so try it out it was really good and like super healthy kind of ruining it now because i'm eating ice cream <laughs> but it's about balance you know life is about balance i like cooking i hate washing dishes i don't know about you guys but literally I would rather do any household chore, any household anything, except for wash dishes. I hate washing dishes. I want to put everything in the dishwasher. All right, I'm going to clean up. And then I want to show you guys my skincare because I've been changing some things. Okay, welcome to my bathroom. It's time for me to get ready for bed. Let's chat for a second. In the winter my skin just gets so dry like the other day all of a sudden I looked in the mirror and my whole nose was like peeling I get so dry so I need like heavy moisture and a lot of times like I use a good moisturizer all the time because I'm pretty dry everywhere always and I always use the ultra repair cream from first aid beauty and it's my favorite but in the winter i need like straight up oil so i've been on an oil kick and i've been doing the following put my hair back i've been using this like way what is this called a sweat what is this called a sweatband now i'm gonna wash my face with this lancome mousse radiance cleanser it's gentle cleanser airy foam with papaya extract I'm almost out of it, but I really like it. It's like very foamy. You don't need a whole pump. Super foamy and like 
smells nice. I don't know, cleansers, I'm not too picky. I just like use whatever's there. Is that wrong? Watch cleanser be like the most important step to having good skin. And I'm just like, use whatever's there. <laughs> At least I don't use like a bar of soap. Dab your face. I use these little baby washcloths. They're like bamboo. <laughs> be really gentle and then instead of using like my regular toner or like a peel pad or anything like that I've just been using this rose water toner for pure radiant skin it says <laughs> rich in vitamins minerals and essential fatty acids it's really nice it's from revolve and then I brush my teeth because I hate brushing my teeth after I have all like my serums and stuff on because I feel like I'm like wiping it away when I use mouthwash and stuff. So I brush my teeth. I have the Quip toothbrush, my fave. Then the things that I have been doing for the past couple weeks or like maybe two weeks and it's been really working well for me is I love this Ole Henriksen Pure Truth Youth Activating Oil. It smells so good. It's like orange, grape seed. It's got rose hip fruit oil. It smells so nice. And so I'm gonna use this. It like comes out orange. It smells so good. I love Ole Henriksen's products. And then I've been using this Bosha rose hip omega face oil. And it's just like rose hip oil as my like moisturizer. And then I'll do my Tan Lux The Face Drops. And I just do like oil and then I do the drops by itself. Sometimes I'll use a brush and I'll mix it with my moisturizer and I'll like do it right. But sometimes I just, I don't have time for that. So I just do like my oil and then I do this. But I just did it last night and I don't do it. I don't do it every night. I do it like sporadically because it is the dark one and I would look super dark tonight because i really just need a boost of moisture i'm gonna use the la la neige i literally just opened it i'm gonna put it on tonight and it's the la neige water sleeping mask i love their products so hydrating and super nice i love it because it looks like gel before i do that i'm just gonna do my gua sha really quick because i've been feeling puffy sometimes i do this during the day sometimes i do it at night but it feels so good. I feel like I hold a lot of tension in my jowls. Is that the word? It's like really feels nice. Make sure you have like an oil on your face or something before you do that. Now I'm gonna put this mask. It comes with this little spatula. <sighs> like I need the moisture. I don't think you guys know how dry my skin is. I'm gonna layer that baby on. Especially on my nose, like it's so dry on my nose. I got like a nice thick layer on there. And honestly, my skin is so dry, it'll like seep in and sink in within like a few minutes. But the few places, it still feels like a little tacky. It is a mask, a sleeping mask. This product is incredible. It's the bio oil, skincare oil. If you have any stretch marks, scars, dark spots, uneven skin, any problems this is your therapy it is amazing this is my third bottle and i'm almost out i have stretch marks like all right here and this is my savior so gonna put this on i'm not gonna show you because i got mine at target and then if i'm feeling fancy i'll put on this eye stick this is my favorite eye cream it's like i don't know how to pronounce it m I don't know why I try it when I just said I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's like French and it feels really good. And that's all I do in the bathroom, but then I have like 10 more steps in the bedroom, so I'll show you that. Oh, I love using this cuticle oil. This is a non negotiable. Also, Laneige, they just have like great hydrating products. And this lip sleeping mask I put on before bed, and literally now that I use this, nothing else feels like enough. Unless it's like a thick Vaseline or something like this. And then this is my favorite hand cream right now. Especially before bed, like I really hate feeling like there's stuff on my hands. So this one is the Hydra Boost from Neutrogena. And it feels very light and nice and also smells incredible. 
and then a little sleep pillow spray. You're just not gonna talk to me. <laughs> you look cute. You I said I look cute. Mm. Finito. Time for bed. Now that I'm shining, I'm gonna end this video here and I'll start a new vlog in the morning. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. Subscribe if you haven't. Also look how cute my shirt is, I'm obsessed. And I will see you in my next video.